Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. Just thought I'd uh, share this uh, recent uh, pickup that I just got. Um, I guess the other day. Uh, I was actually in a Valley Village, and um, which is a place that I really, I frequent quite a bit, actually almost every day, I think now. <laughs> kind of obsessed to go there. Um, you know, mainly because of a lot of the different hobbies that I have, and then this various interest uh, rating, ranging from, well, <clears throat> this stuff to like, audio equipment um you know i even like collect the odd time i collect like high-end vintage calculators i've even it's kind of a, a, a nerdy thing but um you know sometimes i see those and i pick them up or also computers i'm heavily into gaming um i actually have another youtube channel where i'm actually trying to de develop it i don't spend a lot of time on it but um probably would love to see if I can get some subscribers over to that channel and kind of help uh, make it grow but um, you know because I'm in, into that stuff as well but um, anyways I picked this uh, setup and uh, I needed some more paint and it was kind of funny to see it $3.99 um, I did take a look at it because I didn't want to get it and you know <clears throat> I don't know things were missing so let's see what's inside actually I'll show you guys what I got for uh, uh, a whopping uh, $3.99. Looks like the tray is upside down. So I did, yeah, I did actually actually take it out of the store, take it out, sorry, in the store a little bit, and um, everything looked kind of it was present um, and, and accounted for. So um, there was a knife, which is kind of handy, and uh, it looks like the guy who ever had this was actually in the middle of doing like a really good job. I mean, I've never done it like this before. Um, I guess using like heavy duty paper clips and like some drilling to uh, paint all the um, Space Marines kind of separately. To me, these guys look a little bigger than what I've been used to. I don't know. It might be just because I haven't seen one in a while. I, don't know, I feel like they're a little, a little bigger, but anyways. Um, so you got uh, this guy, and this guy was in there, and this one as well, which is hasn't been started. Um, uh, yeah, they're not painted, like not primers or anything. Um, <clears throat> so you got the, looks like everything was here. I got helmets. Uh, oh, well, maybe, maybe not. I think it might be missing the head for, for that one. Oh wait, oh no. That's, um, okay. So he's got a helmet here. I guess he had maybe a helmet uh, that was like removable supposedly. So uh, that's, that's a shame. I know that when I actually opened it up, some parts kind of went on the floor. So it's possible that I lost the head. I don't know. Got a nice uh, new paintbrush as well. So this alone is actually worth it. The f uh, yeah, there's a little bit of paint in there. So find the UTL brush. It's pretty good. And then um, yeah, that's a shame about the head being missing. Otherwise, it would have been totally complete. Um, now the paint itself, I was thinking. I don't know. I did look at the. I think the black. Uh, I don't know. I'll have, to try. I'll have to try that. See if any of this paint is still okay or not. They're just like little mini. Uh... Oh, that looks okay. The brown wash. That's good. So you got brown wash. Oh, here's another. This is like a copper color. It's really. Uh... Eh, it's, there's some usable paint in there. Kind of. Oh, okay. That one's got quite a bit. And you got some. Got some blue. That looks like it's usable. Hopefully. I did actually ran out. Ran out of black. So. Um, black paints here. That's good. So I mean, the cost of buying one of these is, alone is worth all this stuff pretty much. So. Anyways, I'm going to uh, use the black paint on 
the uh, steampunk, steampunk, cyberpunk um, bus slash war rig that I'm working on right now. Um, I've got some graffiti going and uh, glow in the dark uh, paint on the top and uh, got some other stuff kind of going on with the side here. So I'm going to outline probably the Mars wording that I've got. So the idea behind this is like it was a high tech vehicle um, that was kind of you know, repurposed and uh, taken on, taken over by some like more like, I don't know, miscreants or mutants or something, some low lives and um, kind of modified a, a little bit as well. So trying to, you know, kind of keep it sort of within the cyberpunk uh, universe and just have some fun with it and uh, see what I can do to make it look kind of cool. So this is kind of where I'm at. What I'm planning on doing is using the black on the back area here and then covering it uh, with some metallic paint and uh, yeah, just making it look sort of like a cybernetic kind of item. And um, I was actually thinking about doing more of a flesh, um, like, uh, you know, flat, like biotechnology in this thing, but I thought that was gonna be a little too much. So we're going to stick with the tech, but it's gonna be low tech and high tech combined. So, and that's uh, kind of the nature of uh, cyberpunk in general. So anyways, uh, this is where I'm at with this. And um, yeah, hopefully you're uh, having a great day and uh, thanks for stopping by.